baseball, let's have a new policy for this season. Zero tolerance for drunken douchebag fans. Ask yourself, is my behavior in the baseball stadium acceptable when I'm not in a baseball stadium? If the answer is no, then chances are you probably shouldn't be doing it. And I love it when you hear some of these Neanderthals say things like, hey, I paid full admission for this ticket, I should be able to behave any way I want. No, you shouldn't. You paid money for a baseball game, not to enter Thunderdome. And besides, I paid full admission too. And I didn't pay full admission to watch two knuckle draggers get into a fight and prove nothing. And exactly whose honor do you think you're defending? The guy on the field making $20 million? Do you think he really is going to care that you picked a fight because you're on the same team? Chances are he's going out to dinner with one of the guys from the other team. And the only time he's going to think about you is when he's filling out the restraining order. Now, I'm not saying we all have to hold hands and sing We Are the World. In fact, you should never sing We Are the World. But there's so many acceptable ways to act like an idiot at a baseball game. Let's list them. At a baseball game, you can wear a fake beard, applaud for a screaming monkey, chop a tomahawk, do a sweet Caroline sing-along, cheer men dressed as running sausages, paint your stomach like a baseball, hold up signs with forced acronyms, eat ice cream out of a plastic hat, watch a player get covered in midges, see a bird explode, drop half-eaten nachos on the ground, wear a hat upside down and inside out, do whatever it is this guy is doing. Or you could see a guy who's making millions of dollars living out your wildest dreams and yell, you suck. So have a great time at the game, be a real fan, and act like an idiot. Just don't act like a jerk. There's a difference.